The department appointed to protect vulnerable children is again being accused of letting them down. What we see here today is independent experts um, slamming the government for uh, their uh, inability to deal with child safety. The Queensland Child Death Case Review Panel investigated the case handling of 10 children who are now dead. They passed away between October 2014 and September 2015. In one case, it found the panel expressed that they did not have confidence in the workers involved in this case. In another, some processes were not followed by staff, such as convening a family group meeting. These were missed opportunities to bring key people together. The report was published by the opposition after it was released under right to information legislation. This is children. These are our future. We have a responsibility to protect them. And what affects them affects all of us and we need to know about it. The report has surfaced at a time the state cabinet is facing mounting pressure. The Palaszczuk government lost the agriculture minister this week. There were repeated calls for the transport minister to resign and now the opposition is renewing its attack on the child safety minister. The minister didn't face the cameras today, instead released a statement. Since this report, we have radically changed the way our child protection system works in Queensland. They introduced a new way of working with families. Almost 4,000 staff have had additional training and 129 new child safety workers have been employed.